then I was a former Gore Choice and I wanted to see what happened. We're trying to put it to ends. I see the commotion. I saw the social media videos and it made me concerned. I wanted to see what was going on. And that concern, um, did it concern more more of a, of a perspective, of a humanitarian perspective for the migrants that are coming over, or were we looking at more of a perspective for the poor Puerto Ricans that are here right now? I look at it both sides. Okay. I look at it from an immigration standpoint, I look at it from a, a homeland security standpoint. Both sides are, are interesting. Both sides have meaning. So I wanted to just kind of see what, the, what would happen. Title 42 ends. It's a big deal. You know, Title 8 gets put back into play. It's a big deal. Uh, I understand how it works on the border, so I'm curious to see what the information is being passed to them, to the migrants, and what they think is going to happen. Some of them might be wanting to come across before Title 42 ends. Some of them might want to wait until Title 8 comes back and they don't know what to be expected. So I'm kind of here wanting to report on it myself. And what have you seen so far? Uh... From what I've seen on social media, it looked like pretty active. By the time I got here, it's calmed down a lot. It looks like it's been under control. Uh, El Paso itself is a gorgeous city. I used to live here, and I love it. My mother was born here. Um, and so when I got here, I thought it was going to be all in disarray, like it showed on social media. It was pretty well cleaned up. Uh, you do see migrants coming, coming, going around with manila folders in their hands and getting their NTAs, right? Their notice to appear. Uh, I went on this side, and you see it's very well organized, and it looks like they were taking runs of, of migrants to get processed. And so as they're doing this real organized, it looked like they were just breaking down the crowd so it wasn't so big, just in case. And they were doing the right thing. So it all looked pretty, looked like the humanitarian mission version was happening at the time. It looked like both sides are happy with what's going on. And to me, so far, I don't think there's going to be any incidents when Title 42 ends. We're going to stand here and sit here and watch. But all in all, I think everything is being handled appropriately. How do you feel that Title 40, Title 48 is going to come up. How do you feel that that's going to make an impact on the American people and on this nation? Uh, Title 8 is exactly what was in before. You got US, uh, USC 1325, so it's going to be uh, expedited removals, just like it was before, and it's also going to still implement any kind of uh, humanitarian mission uh, situation. So if they have a reason to be here, whether it be uh, through, through uh, political asylum, well, then they'll be granted that. If they came here illegally and they don't have any reason to, well, then they'll be deported to their uh, original country. And so it's just going to go back to the normal policy that happened before. What happens with that, and what most people probably don't know, is that the second time entering, you got, you got uh, Title Eight. it's a uh, USC 1326. Now that's entering this country illegally again. Now that causes for prison time. So most people probably are not going to understand that. And it will jeopardize their opportunity to try to cross over legally, because then you have a five-year ban on that. So hoping they know that information before they attempt to cross. If you could reach out to anybody across the border, what would you say to them? I would love for, for an education to happen down there to explain how to cross over legally so that the, the situation won't be as such and as well as they won't be jeopardized for the future trying to come over legally. I think education is the, what we're lacking right now down in the south. If we can teach people how to come over legally, we can teach them how not to be manipulated by trafficking organizations, they would have better opportunities coming over and safe. So that's what I would like to see. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, Vincent, thank you so much for your time Not a problem. and everything, and hopefully we can see, get, to see, get to see more of you. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you.